hello, 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 and I'm back with Monday's math and literacy activity for my amazing bears. That's you. Okay, here I am. So for starters, we are going to watch a little video on digraphs. This has been one of my favorite videos over the past little while um, by Jack Hartman. I think he totally rocks. If you ever have a chance to just be on YouTube and look at some videos, check out Jack Hartman. He seems to know exactly a wonderful way to teach us. So let's watch this digraph video. <laughs> Two letters, digraphs, make one sound, digraphs, have two letters, digraphs, make one sound, letter S, we say S, letter A, we say H, the letters together and they make a new sound, We hear the sh sound in words. Shake, 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 shake. Shine, shine, shine. Shark, shark, shark. Letter T, we say t. Letter H, we say Put the letters together and they make a new sound. You hear the sound in these words. Thunder, thunder, thunder. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Letter C, we say. H, we say, put the letters together and they make a new sound. Sound in the words. Chair, chair, chair. Say the one with us. Chew, chew, chew. Cheese, cheese, cheese. on my guitar and click the red subscribe All button. Also, here. you can click this oh icon goodness, to visit my website and click on one of these boxes to see more Hello, fun Hartman. educational videos. Let's stop. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Here we are. Are you still there? Gotta love it when things pop up on my screen. All right, so Bears, you have so many digraph worksheets to work on this week. You can either print them off 
you can look at them on your screen. Um, you can even use a marker board or a piece of paper. You have options. So that is Digraphs. That's your literacy lesson for today. And now we're going to look briefly at a missing number lesson that you also have. Let's see, here we go. So you're you're also given this worksheet. Again, you can print it off. You can do it. You can just look at it. Whatever you choose. So we're going to look at missing numbers. So let's look at our screen here. We have six and eight. What number goes in between six and eight? Six, seven. Yes, seven. So I'm going to move seven right in there. Does that look right? Looks right to me. Let's jump down to this one. What number goes between five and seven? Is it ten? Six? One? Eight? Two? How about ding, 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 ding? Number six. Boom. There it is. All right, easy peasy bears. What is the missing number between two and four? Two, three, four. Awesome. All right, let's come down here. All right, what is the missing number between nine and 11? Nine, 10. 11. Yes. There it is. All right. My bears are so smart. You guys can just fly through these. Oh, I know. What number comes between four and six? Four, five, boom, six. How about this one? What is the missing number between seven and nine? Seven, six, no, that's not six. Six would come over here before seven. Seven, eight, nine. What about this one? What number goes between eight and 10? Eight, nine, Ten. All right, let's squeeze one more in and then we'll be done. What is the missing number between three and five? Is it five, two, or four? Four. And there it is. All right, bears. Well, those are your literacy and math lessons for today. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you enjoy seeing me. I know I enjoy seeing you. And we'll see you later. All right, guys. I wish you well. Have a great, great day. Bye.